So after an absolutely riveting Tour de France time trial stage on stage uh, 20, we've now got the world champs in two days. So women's is in two days, the men's is on Friday. Uh, so it, they're both on the same course in Imola. So we'll just look at a course now, 32 kilometers long, no climbing really, 400 meters is 7%, it's not a climb at these uh, for these lot. They'll razz up there at well over 30k an hour. So no issues here. What's per CDA? That's all you need. It's not very technical. We can look at the technical nature as well. Um, it's pretty, obviously, in Imola itself, it is a bit technical, but you're not going to make a lose it. It's not like, you know, you've got loads of technical descents or anything like you did in Yorkshire where it rained. It's pretty much an out and back with a bit of race car stuff. So Wasp is the is the game, name of the game. So we'll go through the women's first, then we'll go through the men's. And, uh, I'll let you know who my favourites are. So we'll look at the start list. A lot of these people, Les Bonas, aren't going to be competing. Um, Audrey Cordon Rego, pretty solid. Darren Ainge, she's going to do it. Van der Breggen, Van Dyke. 1-2 in the Europeans, so obviously favourites. Chloe Diger, my big favourite, and my my person who I think is going to win, I think she's going to win it because she's the strongest by quite a long way, and she won on a hilly circuit last year in Yorkshire, and now it's pan flat, and I just can't really see her past it at all. So, yeah, for me, I think it's definitely her is going to favourite. Marlon Reusser, pretty solid to ride in the uh, Europeans, I think she came third. Um, can't really see any of these other. Georgia Williams is all right, but like, I can't really see... They're winning it to be honest. Um, so yeah, like Lizzie Banks and Alice Barnes, okay, Lisa Brennauer, she had quite a good ride, but you know, we'll, we'll go through Europeans because that was realistically the last proper chance that most people had to race. Obviously, sorry if you're not European because you're not, you're not going to feature in this part, but alas, like it was pretty, pretty in different circuit in Plue. It was very hilly, rainy, and technical, and you know, it wasn't a flat, a pan flat. TT, that's for sure. Uh, there was definitely a bit more to it as a result in the average speed of 45, where, you know, I predict the one uh, in the email hour will be 48, 50k an hour for the women for sure um, because it's so flat. Um, the tarmac apparently is super, super good, said Victor Campanets, so I expect good speeds. Um, so, yeah, obviously, these are sort of the main favourites. Vittoria Busi, I think she had the hour record at some point as well. Uh, Lisa Brenauer is obviously strong as well, but to be honest, when you look at their like weight, like Chloe Diger is like 56 kilos, 58 kilos, like obviously, you know, when Chloe Diger is 66 and air as fuck, then I think it's going to be really tough to be her. Um, so yeah, that's my personal viewpoint. I really can't see Chloe past Chloe Diger. Um, I mean, if we look at obviously last year's TT to see who else did well, Van Vluten, obviously she's not racing. She broke her arm. I don't know if uh, Amber Niebuhr is. I think she still is, to be fair. She's, like, ancient. Yeah, she's doing it. So, she, I mean, she could be a favourite. But, again, I, I think I'm pretty sure she's like Lisa Klein, Marlon Royster again. Like, let's be honest, they were miles back. And I don't see how anyone's going to bridge it. on. Like, if you look, compare this course to that, this course to that course. Sorry, last year's to, the, to this year's. Like, look how much more climbing there was. Um, and okay, you might say, oh, it's not that much more, but it is because a lot of them were dead turns and stuff like that. And yeah, so if she's winning that, then I can't see how she's not going to win um, as long as she's in the same form. Obviously, she's done no UCI races this year, and so I don't really know what her form is, but I assume she's not an idiot and knows how to train properly and will just turn up and destroy everyone. That's my prediction. Now we go to the men's. Same course, as I said before. Uh, there's a lot of people who, you know, are in a shot. Obviously, got Ryan, the, uh, Ryan Dennis, uh, Luke Derbysh, to be fair as well. Both of them, big favourites, uh, could be. Um, then we sort of scroll down. Uh, Campanets, Wout Van Aert, again, big favourites. But Campanets came third in Europeans. Uh, Danny Martinez, solid TT, but let's be honest, Pan Flat Lab, not, not getting around. Asgreen, Bjerg. Bjerg was a bit disappointing in Torino, but Asgreen's been flying. Um, Remy Cavani was obviously outrageous in the tour. On stage 18, where he, sorry, 19, where he was fly to 51 average on his own for the first hour. Okay, fair enough, that was a tailwind, but still, that's ridiculous. Dowsett G, Dowsett came fourth last year. G's been looking rapid in the uh, terreno, and he got, I think, fourth on the stage behind Ghana, Dennis, and uh, Campanets. Uh, Afini looks all right, but Ghana, he's my favourite. I'm going to say it now. I think Ghana's going to win it, uh, and I'll, I'll go into more detail why. But I think Ghana's going to win it just because it's flat, 
He's a big boy. It's a short effort, 32k. Obviously, he's a track man. He's good at the 4k, but even so, like that, that does. You might say, oh, but 30 to 50, that's quite a big change um, in terms of the effort. Uh, Tom de Moulin, another favourite, and Pat Bevan is my last one. Uh, obviously, Lubis and Pilbao. Oh, and Kung, one Europeans on a very upward trajectory. He's got good at road racing recently. I think he could be a favourite for you American viewers. I think Kralik's going to also have a good year. So we'll just go through, you know, that uh, Palmares. Um, so Dennis did the did this one, so I'm, I'm going to bring this up because I think we'll, we'll go through this first, which is the Terreno TT. So we see Ghana won, pan flat, 10 kilometer course, 57 average, almost uh, ridiculous speeds. Absolutely ridiculous, considering there was like a proper U-turn. Like it wasn't pan flat 10k straight. Like if it was that, it would have been 60k an hour for sure. Um, Victor Campanets, again, Dennis. So you can see that that's, this is why I don't think that... Um, some of the people I, I mentioned before, like Bjerg, like, or being by Will Barr, he's like a 56 kilo climber. Like, you're getting beaten by in and like, sort your life out. Obviously, you see at the end of the stage, Dawson Craddock, you might say, oh, why did you pick him up? Like, I just think, you know, he's done, he's done it in the past. He's got top 10s in world. So I think, you know, he, he could do well again. Um, but yeah, Gann is my big favorite. He's just the biggest lad there by quite a long way. And he's error as, and uh, that's why I think he's going to do well. Obviously, Victor Campanats is solid, but Victor Campanats for me is one of those TT lads who needs the sort of little help here. Um, with with some other stuff, obviously he doesn't do the most watts. You after you watch his videos, like obviously I'm not saying he does no watts. He does a lot of watts, but not compared to watts. Or he's just focused on the arrow. And Rowan, Dennis, and G obviously is also what I said. They look really really strong. And the reason why I think G is so good, he was going for GC. All these boys, they're not messing around. You know, what I mean they they can they can go easy the day before. They can definitely like you know conserve their energy while G goes full for GC and uh, still 28 seconds down on something that doesn't really suit him. So I think a 32 KTT is more similar. Dowsett, again, he had a mechanical, but if you look at his Strava file, he was pinging. He was absolutely flying. He lived about 530 watts for the first five, no, 470 for the first five, and then 530 on the way back. He was he was absolutely razzing it. Um, So, you know, that might not look great, but he got fourth last year in the Worlds, and he got fourth in Europeans. He's very disappointed, but I think I think Dowsett could go well. He said he was writing for a contract, more or less. Uh, obviously, G, we already gone through. Casper Asgreen, Nothing mental on the TT, but just a strong lad all round, and he's got a pinging position. Remy Cabana, we mentioned this stage, and we mentioned that stage, and he was six on that. On that, sixth is is a real, real good ride. I mean, he was the same time as Roglic. If you said they two finishing the same time, people would have gone mental. But now nah, he's he beat some real good TT lads and climbers, especially on the climb part. So I think he's definitely going to go well. Gana, we already know, he's flying seventy six kilos. Those was a big. He did 582 watts the last two kilometers. Man was man was going mental. Uh, Paddy Bevan, fourth last year. Uh, was our guard seventh. Not great, but it would definitely get better. Pale Bill Bow won uh, Spanish Nationals, but to be honest, I don't really think. And he came fourth in th this TT here in Ruta del Sol, but like he got beaten by people who aren't TT lads like Turns and Edmondson and Jakobsen. So to be honest, I, I don't think he's going to do it. Lawson Craddock. Last year, I believe, in Yorkshire, he finished sixth. So, again, shows he can TT, which we already knew. Uh, this year, okay, it wasn't a great TT in Torino, but I still think he'll do pretty well. Uh, and then Tom de Moulin, obviously, second second in time training in the Tour. Uh, was pretty good. Um, so, I'm quite happy about that uh, in looking at his form. He's, you know, a big lad still, 69 kilos. So, you know, he should do all right. He's obviously on the lights around for a TT boy, but nothing crazy. Um, nothing crazy like. Uh, so, yeah, I think... He'll obviously be a favourite as well. Uh, but yeah, as I said before, Ghana for the man, for the men, sorry. And then we have Chloe Diger for the women. Uh, Dennis is hard, but I, I think those two. Um, let, you, let me know your comments below. Who you think is going to win? Um, and, you know, that's a bit annoying. We, we don't, it's, not, it's not a bad course, but it is what it is. It's going to be a big what's, what's for CDA course. So I'm excited to see who's going to come out on top. And I'm hoping it, for me, it's going to be big Ghana and Chloe Diger.